Okay, so, uh, how exactly do I go about doing the thing that I was told to do, precisely? I, uh, I'm not 100% sure. Okay, well, there appears to be a bit of a, sh uh, I mean, I've got my bike. And that's pretty cool, but I can't help but also notice that there happens to be a bit of a stretch limo situation going on over here. So, uh, that, 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 that might be, that might be some story progression. That might be over, uh, you know, uh, assumptions on my end, but, uh... The next fight has been arranged. You don't have a lot of time, so I'll just tell you what you need to know. Okay. The ninth ranked assassin is currently Dr. Peace. A doctor? Actually, a detective. A dirty and unscrupulous detective with plenty of dark secrets about him. Illegal investigations, illicit sales, black marketing. He is your one-stop shop for marketing illegal goods. Well, that's no good. On top of that, he is a trained assassin. He's been doing some work for the Mafia. And before you know it, he's up there ranked ninth on the list. To be frank, he's good. You won't stand a chance against him. You're as good as dead. What's it going to be, cowboy? Put me in, coach. All right. Please transfer 150,000 LB dollars. What? What? 150,000 LBs? Your entry fee? My overhead costs? Don't tell me that you were not expecting so many zeros on that price or that I am ripping you off or some shit. You have an elite staff in the thousands. Personally, I think it's a bargain. Okay, I gotcha. But you really think I got that kind of dough on me? What the hell am I supposed to do? I don't you get it. You are supposed to do your job. You've been hired to kill someone, so just do it and quit your whining. Plus, on the job training would be good for you. If you're interested, I can introduce you to an agent, an advertisement agency. But really, they're a waiter. I'll tell you where it is later. I'm running late for my facial. Catch up later, okay? What? No! How did she even manage to do that to him from that angle? He should have gotten kicked to the back of the, the limo, not through the door. Also, what is with her constant mood shifts? And I have to pay to fight other assassins? I'm gonna be honest with you, don't fully follow. You can take on assassination missions from K Entertainment. Earn enough money to enter the next ranking battle. Why do I have to pay for that? Why can't I just storm over to where they are and just cause some chaos? Is that not what I did at the beginning? Also, I've just been straight up abandoned in a part of town I don't recognize. Granted, I don't recognize any part of the town, and who are you looking at? I ain't a sideshow. Bug off. Jasums. All right, fine. If that's the way things are gonna be, then all right. I think I won't have a lot of options. Travis, welcome. Nice acting. That was interesting. Members only. We only need higher ranking assassins. If you don't have an introduction ticket, please leave now. We only offer work to those who have proven themselves as hard workers. May you find your true path. May you find your proper path. I'm the 10th ranked assassin in the world, question mark? Is that not good enough? Um, oh, oh, okay. The job center is now open. This game has taken an interesting turn. You can take on part-time missions from the job center. Earn enough money to enter the next ranking battle. Press the X button to call your bike. Stand next to your bike and press the Y button to get on it. Press the Y button to get off the bike. Press the uh, up button to change the minimaps display. Okay. Well, this is an exceptionally helpful feature of a motorcycle. Oh, wait, no, somebody drove it. Travis! Hi. Who the hell were you? And where did you go? How do I know you? Apparently, Travis trusts you to bring his bike to him. I'm confused. All right, well, um... Okay. I'm gonna be honest with you. This thing don't seem all that street legal. But, uh, I suppose, it is, you know, I'm, I'm not exactly on the right side of the law or anything at this point. Luckily, it seems like this place is rather barren, all things considered. And I suppose all those descriptors of the places that you can find in Santa Destroy weren't exactly the most... Uh, flattering, so I guess it stands for reason why everything would be a little... Oh, boy. Oh, dear. All right, so I may not know what the brakes were on that one. <laughs> okay, well, um, uh, uh, you know, everything seems to be fine. Just, uh, just get, get, you know, dust yourself off. It's, it's all good. I missed my turn, you see. Oh, no. 
Go ahead. You have right of way, jackass. Sheesh. The nerve of some people on the road. Okay, there we go. I don't actually have too much of an idea of where I'm supposed to be going. Oh boy, okay. Um, I don't want to park on the freaking... Whoa, whoa! Whoa, okay. That was a little uh, overkill, a little bit. I'm, uh, this isn't a parking spot, but it's better than parking it on the sidewalk itself. Although I feel like it's probably going to get stolen or dinged up something fierce. But uh, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? I, I don't really see any parking lots around here. Or maybe I wasn't looking hard enough. That's probably more likely. Why are you here, third raider? I'm the tenth ranked assassin. This is a place where third raiders get tougher. To, are together. Or, or, to, or whatever that was. I don't know. So you're a member. Well, I'll teach you some good stuff. All first raiders in the world were once third raiders. So third class is the first step up. The ladder to first class. Your life will change if you work here. You have a very odd way of talking, if I'm being perfectly honest. I'll tell you one more thing. How do third raiders become first raiders? I have no idea, but I imagine your advice will be somewhat obtuse. That's easy. They worked their damn butts off till they were puking blood. Okay, but if you ever at any point puke blood, you have some serious problems that you might want to get immediate assistance on. And then worked some more. See, that is the opposite of what you should be doing. If blood comes out of anything it's not supposed to, go to a doctor. You want to be a first raider? If so, just work hard. You chalk up jobs to survive in this town. I'll hook you up with some more work if you do this job well. The job has been posted on the bulletin board. Okay. Coconut collector. Collect canoconuts. Okay, sure. Uh, that's what we're calling them now, canoconuts. Perform a rolling sobat against a palm tree to make coconuts fall. Okay, I guess. Sure. This joke is for you, don't forget. Feels, um, kind of beneath my weight class, if I'm being perfectly honest with you. But okay, sure. I guess you gotta start somewhere at the 10th ranked assassin. You real? I really feel like that should get you something. Anyway, locate client. Head to the client point marked on the map. Okay. Uh, oh, my bike seems to have teleported itself closer to me. That's convenient. All right, well, onwards! So, uh, oh, why would I turn off the mini-map? I should be paying attention to the road. Woo! Woo! Okay, all right, um, definitely kind of scuffed up the, 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 the terrain there a little bit. Oopsie doodles. Uh, hi, you, you wanted coconut? You are the exact same guy that I was just talking to. The unspoken rules of Santa Destroy are okay, but the coconuts of Santa Destroy are my, more my thing. Coconuts from these parts fetch a high price. Well, what's so special about them? This town is built on Kanakanuts. Kanakanuts are worth more than human life. I doubt that immensely. Kanakanuts are God, so gather them now. Okay, sure, I guess, if you're gonna pay for them. Coconut collection start. Gather coconuts and give them to the storekeeper. Use combo attacks on the palm trees to make the coconuts fall. Press the A button repeatedly when carrying coconuts to walk faster? Three, two, okay. One, uh, well, this seems a little bit excessive. Oh, I have three minutes. Okay. Um, yeah, there you go. Boya! Uh, all right. Well, I, I have a coconut. I got it. What the? Well, they're not that heavy, you doofus. Okay. That's the way. Uh, easy. Maybe if I was carrying like 15 of the damn things, that'd make a little bit of sense, but otherwise it didn't. Okay, that one. That was a bad coconut tree that has nothing for you. Okay, okay. what if I... That tree is also apparently not good. All right, I am mildly confused as to how this is supposed to work. I'll just, I'll just grab the coconuts. I'll just do my thing. Maybe get the ones behind me. Maybe those are a bit more, I don't know, eventful. Hard to say. Regardless... Uh, okay, all right, uh, okay, that tree is also no good. This tree is is apparently a good one. All right. Uh, oh, okay. All right. That's fine. That's cool. Um, you, you know, not a lot of people know this, but it's actually true that coconuts kill more people per year than sharks. Uh, not a lot of people know that. Also, uh, the same statistic applies to vending machines. Which means more people get angry and frustrated with vending machines and have them knocked down on top of them, crushing them to death, than sharks actually do when it goes to try to actually attack people. Sharks don't do that very often. Okay, wow, carrying three coconuts was definitely not the right call. Mm, boy. All right, well, don't mind me. Just there you go. 
Come on, dude. I've carried bags of groceries heavier than that faster. And I am not what someone would call physically fit or active in any shape, way, or form. Regardless. Yatta. Yatta, yatta. I can only assume three is the maximum amount. Ooh, that was a combo. All right, well, I suppose we're about to find out if three is the maximum amount of coconatos that we can possibly carry about. I personally feel like we could definitely hold a whole lot more, but here we go. Everybody do the Travis Shuffle. And, yep, three is the max. All right, our maximum. I gotta tell you, it's never been the greatest of times having a name that can be used as a descriptive term for the aggression level of what something does or the full brunt of the power possible. Okay, anyway, have your damn coconuts. It's easy. Good lord, what are you doing with all these things? All right, all right, all right, all right. There's at least enough time for these two. I can do that much. Huh. At least I, I say that thinking that I can. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go, here we go, give me that coconato. Give me the coconut nose. Uh, has that, ha I have a question. Has anybody ever eaten a coconut? I don't think I ever have. I'm not a big fan of fruit in general. So like I've, I've eaten very few of just about anything. So I'm just wondering <laughs> if it's any good or not. I imagine I probably wouldn't like it too much, but you know, regardless. All right, well, I definitely do not have any time left, but I'll, oh, okay. But I'll, uh, okay. I was gonna try and maybe punch a tree and at least knock something down. Good job, finishing time. Okay. I sure did find myself some kakanatos. All right. Uh, I got a gold rank for that? All right, well, I'll assume that there's something above gold that you can get. So otherwise, either the bar was far too low or, I don't know, maybe this particular mission is just kind. Hey, you third raider, I got another job for you. Something a little shadier, perhaps, but work all the same. And I've sent an introductory and ticket to onto my associate. The road to becoming a first raider is long and hard. Get your ass in gear. You're using the exact same dialogue as the guy in the in the job center. You are the same guy. How did you even get over here? And I'm confused as to why you want coconut so bad. All right, well, an assassination mission is available. That sounds like it would probably pay a little bit better than co you know collecting coconatos. A brand new free flight mission can be now selected. Okay. Interesting that they would have me go to this place just to tell me, you can't do anything here, stupid. Go to another place. All right, yeah, hello. Here's a list of jobs you can do on your next rank. Uh, okay. Let's see. Chain restaurant Pizza Butt plans to open up in Santa Destroy. To crush their plans, kill Pizza Butt CEO. I mean, if you're actually going to try to go into business with a name called, like, Pizza Gut? Pizza Butt, I mean, sorry. Pizza Gut's not that much better. But still, uh, I don't really think you have to worry about them being competition. It's like being called Bloaty's Pizza Hog. I just don't feel like that's gonna work out. But, um... Ah, Snake Hall, kill until you die. Mission ends when your life runs out. 2,000 per kill. Alright, uh, well, this seems a bit more like an actual thing, unless like a video game arcade mode thingy. May you find your true path. May you find your proper path? I feel like after you've killed someone for money, you don't really have much of a choice in deviation of your path at that point. Like, you do that once, and that's pretty much just going to be your life forever. That That's just my personal thoughts on it, at least. All right, search for the target point. All right, well, good thing I've got my forever teleporting bike. That's always good. Uh-oh. Uh, I can't, I can't, def I, 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 ow, ow, come on. I can't, def I gotta go, I can't afford to fix that. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. T -t Turning on this thing isn't the easiest, okay? It's not, it looks cool, but it's not very practically designed. And it doesn't have great handling. I'm going to be entirely honest with you. All right, so kill the CEO of Pizza Butt. Really, I just, I mean, I could think of a less appetizing name for an establishment, sure. But I, I feel like you really shouldn't be trying to do that sort of thing. I don't know. I've just, I've heard a lot of names for pizzerias. That just does not fly. I, I, I just don't think I'd buy anything from there. Uh, all right, clearly already took the wrong turn. Uh, I, you know, I have, oh boy, I have a driver's license. I never use it, but legally I do know how to drive. All right, uh, I, as hard as it can be to sometimes tell. Anyway, all right, sure, here I go. Don't mind me, everyone. Just gonna 
Oh, that's a lot of dudes. Oh, okay. Mission start. Okay. Um, I'm off I go then. That's a lot of guards for a pizza CEO. This must be like a really big company or something, because I don't really understand how they'd be able to. Ow. Yeah. Okay. How about? Could you? Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. I'm a roll. I'm a roll. I'm a roll. I'm gonna back it up. Okay. I'm trying to. No. I want you to be dead. That's what I want more than anything. You are very inconsiderate. Stop it, being. Ugh. Okay. This is proving to be a thing. Get out of the way. Good. Lord, I'm trying very hard. Ha! Goodbye! Oh, that was the target. Oh, okay. And I guess after I killed him, all the other dudes were just totally A-OK -okay with everything about that. Um, I, yeah, I really don't feel like that was too terribly impressive. Um, is it at all possible to try again? Geez, geez, I guess they were right. I am a third raider. That's a bummer. You have enough money for the entrance fee for the next ranking battle. Make the payment at an ATM. Okay, sure, I guess. Still have to question why I need to pay for something like that, but... Alright, you're the boss, I guess. Crazy lady who tells me to kill people. This is a very strange game. I... I can't help but feel like that is the case. Anyway, watch out, bald guy! Alright, don't mind me. Whoa! Oh, okay, why? Wow. That was a sharper turn than I was ready for. Jeez. Well, you If at all possible, I'd like to not kill anybody that's not a target or protecting a target. I don't know how realistic of an expectation that is for myself, but I'm... I'm gonna be optimistic that I'll be able to make that go. Alright, then there's apparently an ATM. Don't mind if I do. Hello, hello. Alright. Ah, yeah, that is an ATM. Neat. All right. Uh, oh, let me just shove a wad of unmarked bills inside this machine. Yeah, okay. You have paid the stipulated entry fee. Return to the motel. All right, sure. I can't just do that instantly, I guess. Well, that's more than a little lame. All right, fine. Let me just, um, back it up. Oh, boy, no, don't. Don't go that fast, okay? Wait. The motel's been here the whole time! Alright, well, I'll admit, I thought that was gonna be a bit of a longer... A longer ride. Let's not crash through the wall. <laughs> I, I, we've established I'm, I don't got a lot of money. I really can't afford repairs to things. I, I, I gotta work on the whole collateral problem. Alright, well, that was fairly casual. Hey, Travis. Hi. The next fight has been prepared. Neat. Destroy stadium. Dr. Peace is waiting for you. To it. All right, I mean, you don't have to be, you know, so pushy about it. I was already gonna do that anyway. All right, uh, let's just, oh, hang on, no, 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 we can't just, oh, we gotta see Jade. Oh, it's a sleepy no. kitty. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, it shows a belly, pet the belly. Oh, if a kitty shows you their belly, it means they trust and love you very much. Cause that's their that's their most vulnerable spot. So, oh, that's that is a good kitty. That's a very good trusting kitty. I like them. That's a good gene. All right, so I gotta fight at a batting stadium, I guess. The entrance to Ranking Battle Nine is now open. All right, kind of had to kind of had to twist my arms a little ways over there, around those parts in order to make that happen. But okay, why why is getting onto this thing sometimes difficult? Yeah, there. Okay. For some reason, sometimes the button just doesn't work. Alrighty. Whoa, no, 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 no. Don't You don't need to do that spin-out wheelie thing. Okay, that's entirely unnecessary. Alright, well. That's more property damage than I was actually trying to go for. Oh, boy. I don't know. I just... I, I don't know. Alright, so how far away is this station anyway? Oh, that was a red light I ran. Alright, well, if you run one, one red light, you might as well run all of them. No sense stopping now. This is a very sp sparsely populated area, if I'm being honest. There's like next to no traffic. 
I mean, you got plenty of time to think. Oh, boy. You have plenty of time to, you know, swerve around pedestrians and the like. So, yeah. Plus, I don't even see any, like, speed limit signs or anything around these parts. So I can only assume it's just kind of, you know, a go hope for the best sort of situation. These stoplights seem almost like a formality more than anything else. Anyway, okay, well, I'm at the Destroy Stadium. Where exactly do I begin? Ah, there we go. All right, don't mind me. All right, uh, let's go meet the apparently ninth-ranked assassin. Well, that's an extraordinarily ironic name. I was going to say that earlier, but, like, I was a bit, you know, distracted listening to everything that lady was talking about. Oh, my God, it's just baseball players. Okay, sure. Um, I'm not sure if they're baseball players or baseball fans, but either way, should I really be murdering these people? I, I, I'm left to wonder. Okay, so that's the way it's going to be, huh? All right. I'll use strategy. Okay, come on, come on. Jeez. Well, that guy sure thought he was some tough stuff, now didn't he? Oh, what? He's just throwing the ball. Rude. Absolutely rude. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And good day. Except it's not a good day because, well, I mean, you're not even getting an open casket funeral, so. Oh, hey, there's a guy with his own lightsaber. All right. That was your first mistake. Oh yeah. Okay, I better not be able to. Oh, oh, Flurry Styles. And goodbye. All right, don't mind me. I'm just going to grab all of that. All right. Well, luckily for me, those two dudes don't seem too terribly interested in getting into a tussle. Uh, I'm sure that'll change once I actually, you know, walk over to them. But still, they waited their turns very politely. Whoa. All right. Well, goodbye. Okay, really? You, you think you think you're Mr. Cool Guy? I assure you, you're not. Okay, ah, I have such an itchy nose right now. Anyway, all right, whoa, I've got Super Saiyan. That's a time saver. All right, bye-bye. And farewell. Avita, say goodnight. Where else are you going to get that kind of nonsense, huh? I mean, I'm sure somewhere. I'm not... But I like to think I provide something of a unique perspective on things. All right, well, I can't get whatever it was that was there. Whatever was there seems to have vanished off the face of the earth. I think it was food. I don't really seem to need that, so not too big of a problem. But still, I would have preferred to be able to have it. Ooh, more stuff. Yo, la samane. Uh-oh. That's a lot of dudes. All right. Ow, rude. Eh, all right. Bye-bye. All right. Oh, I didn't cut that guy in vertically. I think I just cut his arm off. Uh, it's unlikely, but he might survive. Hard to say. That guy less so. That guy less so. I gotta be honest, these outfits, these uniforms perhaps, don't look terribly... Ow! Wow, what did you even get that? Uh, don't look terribly official or impressive. I can't help but feel like I really am just murdering a bunch of baseball fans for no reason. But then again... I suppose it's not for no reason. They literally swung their bats first before I did anything. So it's more so on them than me is how I'm going to justify what's going on, I guess. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Put them up, put them up, put them up, put them up. Ow, ow. Okay, rude. Up oh, and goodbye. Yeah, ta 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 ta. All right. Uh, I thought that was all the enemies, so I thought it was a little weird that it said to keep going. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'm, I'm hoping that I'll slowly get better at this whole combat thing as time goes by. What? Okay. Okay, well, first of all, rude. Are you all related or... <laughs> get a load of these guys. Oh, oh, am I really about to? Okay, hit the ball. Controls. Press the A button or X button to hit the ball and send it flying. The timing of your swing will affect the speed of the ball. Hit the balls to defeat enemies. Three balls will be thrown. Well, this is a very odd and random minigame. Oh! Also, have I ever told you that I'm really bad at sports games? Okay. I mean, uh, there you go. I, I knocked over a bunch of them. Oh, that's real far away. Oh, yeah! 
All right, then. Ah, uh, that saved me something resembling a small amount of time, I guess. Yes. Don't mind me. I'm just going to try and collect everything that I can possibly find. So... All right, just charge in guns blazing. Except not even that, because you don't seem to be holding any weapon at all, actually. What are you blocking my my beam saber with? Beam katana. It's gonna take me a while to get that terminology right. I've, I've heard weapons like this called so many things over the years that it's hard to keep track. Wait, moolah reigns. Oh, yep, and shut. How dare you, sir? Using your dang kicking legs. Yeah, try kicking stuff without your head. I mean, I'm sure you probably could. I mean, if you were sort of somehow. I don't know. Point is, it, it, that would have worked better if I had cut your legs off instead. And I didn't do that. So, I mean, you know, there you go. Bye. All right. Whoa. Bye. Yeah, ba -ba -ba. Ah, I'm not being very ah, variety filled. I'm also clearly not good at defense. Oh, wait. Hang on a second. All right. Hang on. Uh, no, I want to grab you. There we go. Hey, there we go. I feel good about that. And now you are the deaded. Oh, come on. Are you trying to, trying to retreat on me? That was never an option. Absolute buffoonus. Get out of here. wham -a -lam. Ow. Did you just tackle me? All right, I see how it is. Boom. And there you go. I'd actually like to test to see if I could kill somebody with a throw. Yes. Doesn't seem like I can, but that might have just been because I was fighting a boss at the time. Uh, now, don't mind me. I'm just going to uh, grab this real quick. <laughs> Whatever it may be. Yes. Okay, it's, it's a battery. I mean, I do appreciate not having to recharge it. Not my most favorite thing to do, if I'm being honest with all of you. But uh, that's okay. That's okay. Because I don't got it. It all works out just fine. And oh boy. Go, go. All right, okay, and boom! That's a two-for-one deal right there. boy -o. Knocked you flat on your ass! Ow, all right. Okay, how about no? I know you think you're a cool guy, Mr. Jones, but you're not. Also, that guy did a pretty impressive flip. Okay, that guy that I knocked over who got back up? Now, that guy was cool. You, good sir, not so much. Oh, all right, well... That's just all around unfortunate for you guys, I gotta say. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any more. Yeah. <laughs> just kind of standing around not doing a whole lot. Kind of a bummer that I won't be able to actually fully utilize that power up. Oh, well. You know, you guys might want to really seriously consider, like, this again? Like, you, you might want to consider not standing around in such a perfect formation. I already know how to do this. I did it once before. I don't need to be told again. Sheesh. Okay, I guess I hit that one really unimpressively. Fair enough, let's try it again. Oh boy, I sure am not good at this. Yeah. I have no idea what dictates whether or not I actually do that correctly or not. Oh well, doesn't really mean much to me in the long run. The enemies go down all the same. That one would have just saved a little bit of time, I guess. Especially if they're all going to attack me one at a time like that. Okay, I thought for sure that guy was about to get collateral. I mean, he still died and everything, but still. Hey, oh, thanks for the trading card. Hey! Ow! Okay, rude. Okay, I'm gonna call full on shenanigans on that one. You did not kick me, my dude, okay? You barely were anywhere near me. That's just some wonky-ass hitboxes. We won't have any of that. There you go. We'll give you a little... Uh-oh. That's not good. Um, all right, hang on a second. Ow. All right, well, I have enough power to kill your sorry ass. I don't need full power. I need the bare minimum. Okay, uh, I was actually kind of hoping that maybe... Okay, uh, could you not... Oh, boy. All right. Well, I mean, he was a lot more courteous than he probably should have been. Okay, that takes care of that. Also, I thought there was still some dude over there. Yeah, there is. Oh, I guess he was on the other side the whole time. Fair enough. All right. Thank you very much. Oh, there's a, there's a couple dudes. All right. I see how it is. I see how it is. Nope. Nope. 
gonna say nope to that. Nope, Slovakia! Alright, rude. Yeah, Woo! Okay, alright. Why are there so many baseball players that want me dead? Okay, wow, I almost killed three dudes at once with that one. Alright, I am definitely hitting the Y button. Alright, well. Hey, stop blocking! This is rude. All you're doing is delaying the inevitable. Like, why would you even bother with that? Like, if you didn't want to die, then why are you bothering to fight me in the first place? I gotta be real. Alright, there we go. Uh. Yeah, I be. I was really trying to stun you, honestly. It doesn't seem to be working. Alright, then fine. Fair enough. Makes no difference to me! As long as you fall down and go boom, then I'm pretty much content. Shabu! And another trading card. Very nice. All right then, so I feel like I've taken out the equivalent of like four or five Major League Baseball teams. Uh, I feel like we might have, uh, you know, done all we need. Okay, no, there, there are in fact even more that wants to fight me. All right, are you guys all under this Dr. Peace's payroll? Like, the first guy I understood, you know, th those looked like a bunch of bodyguards and what have you, and they were like, I guess, protecting the... Why were, why were there a bunch of bodyguards protecting the 10th uh, greatest assassin in the world, exactly? I, I, I only just now stopped to really think about that. So, but I mean, okay, uh, that aside, maybe he just doesn't like to get his hands dirty unnecessarily. Maybe that's the case. But if that is the case, then again, I do really have to ask, are these just super fans of him? And if so, why are baseball fans such a huge fan of this guy? I mean, I didn't see the guy entirely, but it sure did look to me like he wasn't a professional baseball player or anything. He looked kind of just like a, a dude, like a cowboy. Looks like he had two, like, pistols. Six shooters, perhaps? Hard to say. Regardless, thank you for the cards. Oh, and the door opens. Every time I reach the end of the place, I think I reached a dead end. And it turns out, no, the door just didn't open up yet. Fair enough. Interesting. Oh. Oh boy, it's happening again, is it? Alright. I sure am looking forward to her randomly getting very shouty. Travis, hello? Hello. The moment you step onto the field, the fight begins. Okay. If you win, you will be ranked ninth. Cool. If you lose, well, there's no need to go into that. Duh. Pop a breath mint? No. In the restroom? Maybe. Brush your teeth? No. When you are ready, step inside. To be honest, your chances of survival are slim. But trust your force. And head for the garden of madness. Alright, sure. Well, at least she didn't start screaming and insulting the guy's mother. So, character development? Or maybe she was just feeling particularly uncranky today or very cranky the other day. Hard to say if I'm being honest. Anyway, deck the box because I can. And another mask. Alright. I'm a flip of one of these looks anything like strong bads. I know it won't, but I'm just saying. Travis, you've made some progress. Who are you and how are you doing this? I caught the I caught the podcast that said you're getting your edge back? What? Do you remember your second suplex? A terrifying trip to the moon. The reverse arm salt. Okay. You know, I gotta be honest, so far I feel like I haven't actually used the one that I already learned before. I'm not exactly the best at this whole thing. I'm just kind of brute forcing my way through this. Uh, it's probably going to be a real serious problem for me in due time. But we'll make it work. We'll make it work. Surely. Yeah, definitely. There, 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 there's no problems. All right, then. Well, I suppose it does make sense to, you know, properly go to the bathroom before you get to a fight to the death. You wouldn't want that distracting you in the middle of everything. That's the kind of stuff you really don't think about too often. Obviously for good reason. I, I I sincerely hope that nobody watching this needs advice like that. But, um, it's there if you need it, I guess. Alright, so, uh... What?
I don't know what I expected. I hope he applauds him. He does! Nice set of pipes you got there, old man. It has always been my dream to perform in a stadium such as this. A gentleman from the association told me I could have any stage I wanted today. How could I refuse such a kind offer? <laughs> Courtesy of me and my entry fee, no doubt. Oh. My wife called me the other day, and I met my daughter for the first time in ten years. We dined at a fancy restaurant. One of those that are impossible to get a reservation for. And then afterwards, karaoke. Neat. Got you the reservation. The association took care of it, of course. Fuck. My entry fee. What's important is not the fact the reservations are hard to get. In fact, no one gets reservations. The words reservations only apply only to those outside of the circle. It's getting into that circle that matters. And the food, good? I'd hope. Unfortunately, the atmosphere was a facade. Not once did my own daughter look me in the eye. Oh, the food tasted like blood. Did you eat You're meat? You're a junkie for blood, old man. Sadly, I can't disagree. There's only one way to live. People like us, we're sharks attracted to blood. You smelled blood too, didn't you? Isn't that why you're here? You got it, old man. And for some reason, I feel this sense of euphoria. Don't die on me too quickly. I want to gorge myself on this sense of fulfillment till I vomit. Well, that's a little gross. Man, this is what I live for. Fighting your own kind. Nothing's more gratifying. See you on the other side. Ah. Uh. Oh, okay. Uh, firm mental note, his bullets explode! Uh, can I even parry something like that? Oh, boy. Alright, um... I feel like running headfirst towards him isn't the greatest call. Oh, boy, he's doing guns akimbo. Alright, well, uh, don't waste time reloading! Uh-oh. Ow, 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 Also, I just, I really can't. I, I, I want to, but I can't ignore the fact that there was a billboard talking about Taco Twins. Is that a place I can go to? I'm gonna be honest, it sounds pretty great. Uh, that doesn't look good. Um. No, how about... Alright. Well, at least I didn't stand around like a moron. That's good at least. Whoa! Alright. Credit where it's due, you gotta be pretty badass to parry a blade with a set of guns. Alright, um... No, I don't think so. Okay! I'm gonna be honest, uh, guns kind of become entirely pointless and not impressive in any regard once you're fighting somebody who can dodge them. I think that's why in anime they never bother with them. Like, once you're dealing with people who can dodge a bullet, they're basically just fun toys. The sword really is the way to go. Nope! Not having it. Not having it at all. Whoa, boy. Uh, so is this really all you're gonna do? I imagine you got... You know, another ace up your sleeve, another, uh, song on your playlist, uh, something to that general effect! I sure hope so! Because you had a pretty cool introduction! And I can't say that you don't have a beautiful man voice, because you definitely do! Whoa. So, you know, I'm just saying, I, I would kind of hope that you're a little bit more... Whoa! A little more impressive than what I'm seeing so far! Also, I guess you only have the one exploding bullet? Is, is that how I'm supposed to interpret that? Hard to say. Regardless, don't mind if I do! There you go, there you go! Come on, stay down for the 10 count, be a sport! Or at the very bare minimum, learn how to shoot faster. I don't really know how else you could improve your, your I guess, your draw technique, but 
Honestly, it doesn't even feel like I'm moving all that fast. More like I'm just kind of predicting where your bullets are going to go, less than actually reacting to them. And, and then sometimes you do stuff like that where you just well and truly completely miss. Uh-oh. Um, all right. Let's just do ourselves a little bit of that. I'm out of power. Okay. Oh, boy. Thankfully, this guy does not have a lot of sense of agency. It's like, yeah, no, I can take my time. This guy is definitely not going absolutely berserker mode on me or anything. No, definitely not. I can take my time, do a bunch of really cool gunslinger poses, you know, do the whole quick draw thing. That works out for everybody. Don't, don't gotta worry me myself none. Anyway, sorry about your daughter not liking you because you're, you know, a murderer. I gotta say, it's a fairly understandable situation she's found herself in. The fact that she even gave you a chance at all is kind of admirable and says a lot about the character of your daughter. So I hope she has a very long and happy life with it for whatever way she sees fit. Okay, um, I thought I kind of won the fight there, if I'm being honest. Don't kid yourself. Playtime is over. Okay. I feel like this isn't the time for a quick draw. I was right, you are slow on the draw. Bummer. Next song I sing, I know my daughter will love. Won't you, darling? <laughs> Better practice my rap. Rap with me, Jennifer. Uh. It's open mic night in hell, old man. Sing all you want down there. Hell has karaoke? I'm not gonna lie, that sounds pretty cool. I mean, how bad could it be if they have a karaoke? I guess it's just open mic. Uh, regardless... Wow, that's a really undignified position to find yourself dead in. Uh, sorry about that. Honestly. Uh, you had real cool guns and you had real cool pipes. Respect. Respect. Also, I see you over there, lady. It's nice that you can't leave without getting your vitality increased, just in case you're stupid and forget- Wait a second, hang on. Before I jump in there, I just wanted to check to make sure that there wasn't anything else that was important or anything. And what happens if I just walk over to you? Like, hi. Okay, nothing. Fair enough. You're just supposed to be ominous until I actually start the cutscene, huh? Anyway, you yeah, have the Tag Team Taco Twins? Anyone want to tell me what that's all about? I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm interested. I'm very interested. Congratulations. You are now ranked number nine. What it was easier expect? than the first guy. Wait a minute. Are you getting a little sentimental? Still green, aren't you? You know this is only the beginning. Call me when the next one's arranged. Game set! I'm having a really hard time getting a read on that lady. Also, for all of her, I don't know, talk about everything, that guy was definitely easier than the first one. Death Metal was definitely a harder fight than Dr. Peace. Probably, I mean, I guess maybe it's because I was just completely new to the controls and everything, but I digress. So I gotta ask, does, like, now that I'm number nine, it doesn't seem like the guy who was num so the guy who was a number 11 becomes 10 automatically it feels like I'm cutting out a lot of the middleman for everybody that's not me like if I just go about this the guy behind me is just gonna jump up to rank two without ever having to do anything to begin with I feel like once I reach number one everyone else is gonna be very much less impressive just kind of people there through circumstance at least that's the impression that I was had hmm I mean, maybe there's more going on in the background that I don't fully understand. Uh, regardless, I should be saving alternatingly. Lest something go horribly wrong with the recording. It's happened before, I should definitely be making these kinds of precautions. Hi, this is Diane from Beefhead Videos. 
I D I N. Message for Mr. Travis Touchdown. Just calling to remind you that you haven't returned one of our rentals. Let's see here. It's um, titled Big German Jugs Collection Number Twenty Three. Yeah, sure figured. It soon. Have a nice day. Congratulations, Mr. Touchdown. Your registration for the ninth UAA rank is now complete. Thank you very much for your cooperation. In addition, we have faxed you some information about the rankings in case you wish to continue your ascent. As a friendly reminder, there will be a small nominal fee to participate in ranked fights. Where did my glasses Thank come from? Thank you for your understanding, and have a nice day. I don't think I was wearing those before then. Also, it was nice of that lady to be so courteous. Ordinarily, you'd expect that uh, there would be a little bit of judgment there. But, uh, yeah, I kind of knew right from when that message started where it was going to end up going. Anyway, the UAA wishes to inform you that the entry fee for your next ranked fight is as follows. 200000 Please deposit the above amount as soon as possible. It's really strange that I have to pay to kill things. But, I mean, okay, I, I guess that's just the way things are. That being said, well, I've had an eventful couple days. Um, I do believe I'll kick back and enjoy my kitty cat for a little bit. That seems like a real good time. In the next part, I guess we need to find ourselves some more money. I feel like I earned a lot of it just by absolutely annihilating those baseball teams. Meow. That sounded very much like a person saying meow less than an actual cat saying it, but... I won't judge you, Gene. I've had some pretty strange cats in my day, and they're all still very adorable, and I love them all very much. Anyway, I hope you guys had a super fantabulously wonderful time. God only knows what's happening next. I imagine it's going to be a wee bit silly. See you then. Did you get kitty? Ah!